how can leaders measure the impact of their diversity and inclusion efforts and what metrics should they be tracking to gauge success? There's different things that you can be measuring. You can be measuring input, you can measure output. So you can measure the effort, input meaning the efforts that you are putting forth, that you, other leaders, are putting forth to create that inclusive culture, to being open and, you know, interviewing diverse candidates, hiring diverse candidates. And then you can measure outputs as well, which is, you could be representation. It could be, what is the compensation gap? What is the gap in performance ratings? What is the gap in your sales force being assigned to the top clients or customers? So you can measure the effort and you can measure the results. I think it's really important to do both. A lot of companies just think, oh, I want to look at how many women I have at manager. And yes, that's an important measure. But the way to get to manager is what you need to really focus your energies on. And that's the input. Like I said, look at the entire employee life cycle and from hiring, attracting, hiring, developing, you know, assigning your succession planning, all of it, making sure that you're really being open-minded and inclusive in how you're doing that. And leaders need to be held accountable. Leaders need to set their own targets for the inputs and the outputs and, and really uh, be held to meet those. Now, see, this is a modern world. Everyone puts some dollars as an investment. So when you do the investment, you want the return. So people are asking, okay, how do you measure the efforts? How do you uh, measure the uh, results, the, the, the return? But I think this is a really a long-term strategy. We don't measure it by a quarter bank. Uh, it's not an annual base. And I think this is an investment with a so much bigger scale. We're investing in future. I only want to ask one question back to the people who asked that question. If the person has a daughter and the daughter will take maybe 20 years to grow up, what kind of word we want from daughter? after graduation. That is the return of the investment. I do not measure it in the immediate effects. Like I said, diversity was a price. Sometimes if you measure one male leader and a female leader, you might come to the conclusion says, oh, the male leader is better, but we're not doing the individual comparison. We're talking about investment toward the future. What kind of future you want your daughter to live in? What is the future if you are a minority? Like I said at the beginning of this session, diversity is not just about female, male, not about gender, right? So if we can be patient enough to look into this investment, not measure by the financial figures, well, understand financial figures are very important to sustain our business. But if you look into a long-term run, then you can get your eyes off this just numbers. And there's a lot of investment cannot be measured by numbers immediately. For example, now we're talking about decarbonization agenda. If you just put the numbers in there, okay, no project can be done. 